Hey gang, uh, today uh, we're going to do a follow-up to a previous video I've done, which was how to build a guitar amp out of your Android phone. I found a significant improvement and I wanted to share that with you. Uh, this is definitely improved in a couple of different ways. The first way is convenience. It's a little more convenient to use. And then the second thing is it is just way better. The sound is way better, less noise, less latency, more control. So I just wanted to share that with you. All right, the componentry that we're going to use is an Android phone that is equipped for USB OTG. So you need to have a USB OTG phone. Uh, this is an Android, or this is a Motorola Droid. It is equipped for USB OTG. Um, it has a micro charger, and uh, so that we're going to have to use this cable, which is a USB OTG cable, which has a USB on one side and on the other side it's a micro charge alright let me see if I can get that micro charge okay if you have uh, something else like a newer phone this is a pixel 2 uh, that has uh, also Android that has a what comes with it is one of these uh, this is a USB to USB C on this end alright and that again also goes into the charge. If you don't have one of those or you lost it, you can pick one of these up on Amazon Basic. I picked this up on Amazon for like five bucks. Okay, USB, USB-C. All right, we're gonna use the old one to show it works with the older technology, okay? But we're gonna stick with this, uh, which is the Motorola uh, Droid. Okay, um, second thing is obviously you need one of these, which is to give you a USB. Um, we're going to need a couple of adapter. We're going to need a cable. This is a three and a half millimeter cable because I want to show you going out of the of a speaker uh, so you can hear it. But you could just go through your headphones and you could forego the speaker and the cable altogether if you wanted to. Because we're going to the speaker, we're going to need a quarter inch to three and a half millimeter adapter also. Again, if you were going to go straight into headphones, you wouldn't need that. Finally, the last thing and the most important thing is you're going to need a guitar link. Now, in the last video, which I'm going to refer you to, which is right uh, up there, okay? Uh, in the last one, I recommended that you use this thing. I actually didn't recommend. I just said, hey, let's build it cheaply. And this is a cheap sound card. Sound card. It has 3.5 millimeter outputs, one for the mic or speaker and one for the guitar. Or, uh, I'm sorry, the speaker or headphones and one for the guitar or microphone. We're not going to use that one. This was super noisy. At the end, I'll give you a reference to show you how bad it was. Instead, I'm using this Behringer Guitar Link, and I've just found it much, much better. Uh, first of all, it has quarter-inch jacks instead of the 3.5 millimeter. You know already it's going to be a much better signal. Uh, outputs for guitar and for, or inputs for guitar and uh, headphones, or we're going to do the speaker out from here. Uh, a volume, which is super useful if you're using headphones, and a high and a low output, which is also helpful. Uh, a clipping signal to show if you're overdoing it, and uh, connect. All right, to let you know you're connected. Let's go ahead and build it using this, and I'll show you how much better it is. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect this USB OTG with the Android phone through its charge cable. Okay, so we've got our USB link right there. All right, now I'm going to connect up, I'm going to connect up my guitar link to the USB, which I've just done. All right, now I'm going to uh, connect my adapter. I'll show you why in a second. And I'm going to put that into the output for the speaker. All right, or the input for the speaker, there we go. So the speaker is going to go in the, into the headphone jack. Again, if you were using headphones, you wouldn't need to do this. You could just plug it right in. That's why I needed the adapter, because my speaker took a 3.5 millimeter uh, input. OK, now I need to go to the guitar. And the beauty of this is I simply plug in with my guitar cable right into this. OK, now I'm all ready to roll. I just need to start up the software. In this case, I'm using depth-like software. I'll show you what this is in just a second. It is right there. It's called depth-like, and I'm going to open this up. It's connecting right there, and it says, oh, I detected a USB device. Do you want to use it? Yes, indeed, I do. Click the okie-dokie button, 
And there it is. You heard it come on. And it's got some defaults. It's got a default amp. And it's got default like overdrive. There's a stock amp. There's a delay. There's a looper pedal that's on here. And it'll sound OK right off the bat, although it's pretty heavily doctored. <laughs> So um, all of these things just kind of work normally. Uh, like if we want to take off the overdrive, you see it's got that little red on it. We'll just hit it, and there it is. Now it went off. So now it's going to be a cleaner signal. All right, let's, uh, let's take off that delay so we can just hear it clean. All right, so I took off the delay. Here it is clean. You can hear it's pretty noise-free and very little latency, I can tell you that. All right, and this is actually really fun. It has a lot of pedals in here. Uh, you can change the amp, you can change the pedal. Let me put on something goofy, like uh, let me put on a phase shifter. Put on a phase shifter. That's not too goofy, I suppose. All right, so there's a phase shifter has various distortions. Um, let's see, it has this, you know, that's a regular overdrive. Let's put on a different distortion. Let's put on a really, uh, uh, let's put on a, a big muff distortion on here. Crank up some of the stuff. lots of stuff that you can play around with and uh, that's it you're in business and it's pretty easy so I have to say this guitar link makes a big difference I'm sure you can get a knockoff that's cheaper this one cost maybe 40 bucks so it wasn't totally cheap but um, I can't vouch for the knockoffs because I know this one works and this is what I tried all right let me just now show you I'm gonna cut a little bit of this but I'll show you what the old things old setup sounded like so you can see how much noisier it was right out of the box. Okay gang, here it is, uh, the old setup that we have. I've got the sound card in, and you can, uh, you can hear how much hiss there really is. So the new setup's way, way better. In the old time, I used to set up so that I would put in like some I would put in a silencer, uh, a, a noise gate, and that would help a little bit. And uh, it would help a little bit when I stopped playing anyway. You can even still the, hear the crackling. So you can do it if you want, but uh, I have to say the new situation is way, way better. All right, we'll see you on down the road.